Dear students, this is Mr. Mehir Sina. In this video, I am going to discuss about some of the basic differences exist in between monopoly and perfect competition market. One of them relates to number of sellers. In case of the number of sellers present under monopoly, there is only one single seller or single firm. This is due to the restrictions imposed by the government or the introduction of licensing system. There exists only one single firm. But in case of perfect competition, no such restrictions are imposed by the authority as there is no government intervention. The competitive firms or the rival firms or the potential firms has the liberty to enter into the market and produce the goods under the conditions of perfect market and the number becomes large. That is the reason under perfect competition, large number of firms are present. In terms of quality of goods, under monopoly market, the monopoly seller attained the patent right or copyright to produce a particular commodity. It means that commodity couldn't be produced by any other potential firms. That is the reason no close substitutes are present in the market which is produced by the monopoly seller. There may have substitutes but it must not have any close substitutes. If there is any close substitutes, the market is called to be monopoly competition. It means to be a monopoly, there must exist no close, there, there must not exist any close substitutes. But in case of perfect competition, goods produced are called to be, called to be perfect substitutes of one another. Perfect in the sense that the competitive firm who is producing the commodity with a technology, that technology or the factor which is freely mobile from one factory or one farm to another farm. It means we may say that the technology is same, keeping the same technology, whoever be the number of sellers, farms, they may produce the commodity under the condition of perfect market and the goods are called to be perfect substitutes of one another. Now another difference relates to control of the market supply. As there is only one single firm under monopoly market who is producing a good that doesn't have any close substitutes and controls the entire market supply, he himself constitutes the industry and there doesn't exist any conceptual difference between farm and industry. Farm is also an individual producing unit and industry is also produce individual producing unit. They are equal to one another. But under perfect competition, no such controls are required because large number of firms are present in perfect market and no single firm has the authority or has the influence to control the entire market supply. And another difference relates to industry, that is, in case of monopoly market, yes, there is only one firm who is producing a good that doesn't have any close substitutes and he controls the entire market supply. It means the single firm constitutes the industry. It means the monopoly market doesn't have any differences in between the concept of farm and industry. We may say that the farm is an individual producing unit. Similarly, the industry is also an individual producing unit. It means both the concepts are equal to one another. But in case of perfect competition, there exists large number of firms who are producing homogeneous or perfect substitute goods of one another. They collectively form an organization that is known as the industry. It means under perfect competition, there exists the difference between the concept of farm and industry. In perfect competition, market, farm is called to be an individual producing unit and industry is called to be an unit which is the collective form of all the farms who are producing perfect substitute goods of one another. Another difference that is related to determination of prices. Under monopoly market, as there is only one single seller who has the patent right to produce that commodity and controls the entire market supply, 
he has the authority to determine its price also and he is called to be the price maker but in case of perfect competition no single firm has the authority has the influence over the price as a result firms under competitive market or perfect market competitive firm is called to be a price taker not maker because the price is determined by the industry with the equality of the demand and supply forces of the market of its commodity that is the reason in perfect market industry is called to be the price maker and firm is called to be a price taker another difference relates to demand in case of monopoly producers demand of the monopoly produce are increases with the fall in its price and its demand falls with the rise in price it means the demand under monopoly market is called to be elastic because with the change in price its demand changes so it is called to be elastic demand and the shape of the demand curve is downward sloping but in case of perfect competition demand is called to be perfectly elastic because without any change in price the perfect markets produces demand may rise or fall that is the reason demand under perfect market is called to be perfectly elastic because without any without any change in price demand changes and the demand curve will takes the shape of a horizontal straight line another difference that is relates to revenue concept as in monopoly monopoly producers main aim is to maximize profit to maximize its profit he has to maximize its sale to maximize its sale he is always charges lower and lower price accordingly his ar is lower and lower and mrf follows it as ar is decreases mrl also decreases and the fall in mr is always the rate of fall in mr is always greater than the ar as a result ar remains higher than the mr but in perfect competition as price is fixed ar is also fixed and following the ar mr remains fixed and becomes equal to ar this is the difference in case of revenue and another difference that is relates to barriers in case of monopoly market the entry of a firm or exit of the firm is restricted through licenses without any prior permission without any patent right no firm can enter into the market and the firm who attained the patent right to produce monopoly goods he couldn't left the market also without any prior permission but in case of perfect competition no such restrictions are there for competitive firms may enter into the market freely and may left of the market also freely without any restrictions last but not least the difference relates to price and output in case of the price under monopoly market monopoly seller determines a price which is always greater than its marginal cost but under competitive market the price which is charged or determined is always equal to marginal cost it means monopoly price is always higher than mc but competitive price is always equal to mc equal to mc that is the reason monopoly price is greater than competitive price but in re with respect to output the difference is under monopoly market the monopoly seller determines its level of output before reaching the level of minimum sc because before reaching the minimum of sc he is attaining the equilibrium level with the equality of marginal cost and marginal revenue as a result his outputs are always lower than the competitive firm's output because competitive firm produces or determines its level of output at the level of minimum sc or at the point of minimum sc where his mc is equals mr that may be shown with the help of a diagram also in the diagram monopoly seller determines its price that is the price which is 
op higher than the p1 the price op is determined with the help of the equality or at the level of equality of mc is equal to mr where equilibrium level is attained at that level we saw that we see that the price is higher than the marginal cost this is the marginal cost level at the point of its equilibrium this is his mc but the monopoly seller or monopoly firm is charging the price which is greater than the mc or mn is the marginal cost of the monopoly seller or monopoly firm but he is charging greater than the mn that is op is greater than the volume of mn amount of mn but under perfect competition competitive firm is charges a price which is always equal to its mc at its level of equilibrium where mc equals mr at this point that is m1 at point m1 he is charging its price or he is determining its price of its commodity where mc equals its price it means monopoly price is higher than the competitive price and in case of the level of output monopoly seller produces at that level of output where his average cost is higher or average cost is falling continues to fall it means he is determining its level of output before reaching the level of minimum se where his equilibrium level is determined and he is determined the level of output that is on is the monopoly output but in case of perfect competition competitive firm is producing at the level where his ac is minimum and is equal to mc and mr also that is the level of output is on1 it means the diagram shows that the monopoly produce that is on is smaller than the competitive output but in case of price monopoly price is greater than the competitive price this is the difference between monopoly and perfect competition